Could it be? Could it be? Hi, Toaster here from Aussie 8. We're back with another in the series of Starlink in Motion. So in my last video, um, I fried my dish. Uh, I did put the question out to the interwebs and YouTube um, on could I re resurrect it. I got some good comments in the um, in the thread of that video. Here I am to try the ideas um, from in particular steel cuts I think it was. So this is the equipment I have on our remote trip around Australia that hopefully I can use to uh, repair this Starlink board that I've uh, burnt. So we've got a multimeter, a Weller butane portable soldering iron tip is not, I don't think it's really suited for surface mount components, but we'll have to make do. Some solder, something to clean the uh, tip with, more butane if we need it, some tweezers, and a magnifying glass. So hopefully with that we can get this board going again. So here is the Ethernet connector, and we can see here there is a component Apparently it's a, some sort of diode, so it's a protection component. Um, if you can see there, the plastic has burnt and that would have been the source of the smell that I ha had when I um, zapped the board. I've also noticed this burn mark here. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually traces here, dual parallel traces, which I think are the pairs for Ethernet. So there's four of them coming across and at least one of them has um, has burnt. So I'm going to use some jumper wire to uh, span this burnt track. I'm going to remove the diode. It's only used for protection. So what I'm going to do is go back to the original wiring that Starlink provide. Uh, so I don't think that I need to actually replace the diode. Steel Cuts had suggested that this component here has its own protection inside of it. So it's un Hopefully it has not been um, uh, damaged or destroyed. And so, yeah, just replacing or bypassing this burnt uh, trace and removing this diode. Maybe we can bring this board back to life. Fingers crossed. Voila, one burnt out diode. So those are the um, pads that the diode was on. All right, so the next um, job is this burnt uh, trace here. I think this is gonna be a bit harder. Starting to make a bit of a mess of this board. If this works, it's gonna be a miracle. All right, waiting for this to heat up again. Okay, the tip's hot. Let's give it a go. One, two, three, four, five, six. It appears to have stuck. I don't know how well it's on there. It's actually not on there very well. I've already just been able to Wiggle it. Mm -hmm. It's off. Okay, it's no good. Well, that was close. It's there, but I don't know that it's going to stay there. It's there. And it's on the sixth pin, so that's correct. And it appears to be there. I'm not touching any other pins. 
I'm not that confident, but anyway, let's just um, try and get the other end on now. I spin the board around. I got a feeling while we put the other end on, that end's probably just gonna come loose, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, it came loose already. Well, this is definitely gonna be frustrating. Not clean, but I think it's on pretty well. All right, let's go back to the other end. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm gonna have to use tweezers. For those of you that on watching you know what you're doing, if this is probably very painful to watch. Um, but you know, it's clear I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but this board was dead and I figure I can't make it any deader. It's really hard to see with this magnifying glass. Come on. I feel like I'm close. I got it to melt on the chip, the pad. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I just cannot see what I'm doing. Maybe I just try with the naked eye. down but it's just a complete mess in there I don't know that it's I've got a feeling it's shorting out the connectors next to it pretty sure it is all right well we'll um, I'll clean it up a bit and uh, we'll see if we can um, plug it all back in and make more magic smoke happen all right it's time to give it a try so we've got the uh, connector for the board so we'll plug that in and then the it's mostly the original connector on the other end that did just shave a few mils of plastic off but inside still the original connector here's the starlink router let's power it on so we plug the original 75 foot cable into the bottom of the router okay so we've got that and then we plug these connectors which used to be inside of the motorized housing plug them together well that's a good sign no no zap no smell of smoke. All right, well, either the board is still very dead or maybe it's come to life. We are um, going to have to take it outside and leave it facing the sky for a bit. All right, I'll come back to you. Could it be? Sorry? Could it be? Could that be? A Frankenstein dish currently sitting in this plastic chair half facing the southern sky could it be some thinking about it but it could also just be the router the router does have some smarts in it obviously but most of the Starlink satellite connectivity in fact I think everything is is inside of this inside of the dish um, as they say I'll be a monkey's uncle 
Well, I just had to show my face on screen here. I wasn't planning to for this video because I haven't been to hair and makeup today. But uh, yeah, the, uh, the dish is working. Our Frankenstein dish is is working. But yeah, it says it's um, online. It's um, downloading an update. Uh, for uptime is now pretty much at the top. So it's getting a, mostly getting a signal. Um, but you can do a speed test. How about that? For a dish that was fried and brought back to life, just sitting out here on the deck, I think that's a pretty good result. So I'm really happy with that. All right, well, I guess we're, um, we're back on. So the uh, Starlink in Motion series of videos will continue. I do want to thank um, the guys that were made comments in the previous video on suggestions on how to, how to bring it back to life. Um, yeah, really appreciate it, guys. Um, yeah, so we'll see you out there. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.